Hey everyone, hope everything's going well. You guys and gals know that drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Follow me on my finance channel at AIH Finance. I have this autograph card. Very neat. It's by X-Cub Brian Gray. I really like the penmanship here. There are a few athletes that take their time to sign the cards. And I find it that if you send it to their home, they'll probably take the time and do it. But, you know, I could be wrong. Now, if you go to a show, they may just be scribbling their name probably in a sloppy way. And your hand gets tired if you sign autograph after autograph after autograph. If you send it to their home and they sign... They probably will have a hand that's less tired. You know, assuming that they sign it, obviously, you know, there's some people that don't sign their card, sometimes their wife, sometimes their secretary, whatever. Now, this uh, most of the signatures that I get appear to be legitimate, but I haven't sold them. If I try to sell them, then I will do my due diligence to make sure that those autographs are legitimate based on previous autographs that have been authenticated by PSA and BGS. Now, I wanted to touch base more a little bit into the macroeconomic side of things. I know some people get turned off by it, and that's why I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but it is a relevant topic. And it's about the pumpers that are always positive that don't want to objectively look at what's going on. And you, you could look at sports car. You could even look at other parts of our society. And like I've stated, the yield curve, and it's, this is on my finance channel, the yield curve is inverted, okay? And when you have a situation like that, you tend to see a recession. You may not see it today, but a year, year and a half from now, I do believe we're going to have a very nasty recession, right? And everyone's saying, be positive, you know, look the other way, stop following people that are quote unquote toxic and negative, whatever the phrase is. I believe that, hey, look, number one, if you're not looking at these things and, you know, you're trying to speculate a lot in sports cards and you want to accumulate over the next few years because you've had a downturn, well, I would suggest, say, looking at what's happened in the past and apply to today. I do believe there will be pain now next, what, eight, nine months, I do expect things to be a little better. But after that, it's just going to go downhill. And ultimately, if we do get a nasty recession, what will happen? People, unfortunately, will lose their jobs. And some people will sell whatever they can to raise cash, be it stocks, be it other investments, be it sports cards, there will be, in my opinion, decent buying opportunities in the next few years. And some people are starting to accumulate now. And, you know, if you're buying up collections, paying 60, 70 cents on the dollar, okay, fine. That's great. Even if you have a downturn, I think those cards will do fine. Uh, there are potential opportunities in getting sports cards you know i get autographs like this brian mccray card it's not going to be worth you know a whole lot of money but if you get a top-notch rookie and manage to get an autograph get a grade a high grade you got a dual grade yeah okay sure you can make money through that right and you know, if you go via TTM, which cuts out the middleman, okay, you're saving some money in getting autographs. Now, vast majority of the autographs that I get are for my PC. There will be some that I will speculate in. But, yeah, there aren't 
that many opportunities compared to 2018, 2019, the sports card hobby. I mean, you had the influencer effect with Gary V at that time. Gary V brought in a lot of people, whether we like him or not. He got in a lot of people. Card prices were artificially low at that time. And now it just ballooned. Even to this day when we've had this correction, people are still going to pay a premium for legitimate Michael Jordan cards, legitimate Michael Jordan autographs, legitimate Mickey Mantle high-end cards. There's still demand for those cards, okay? So, you know, while... People say, be positive this, be positive that, and not looking at things from an objective point of view. What are they going to say when this whole thing comes tumbling down? And now I do say, hey, if you are starting your business or if you're involved in it, you know, just be prepared. There will be times that you'll need to, that will be tough during this time, okay? So it is what it is. I do want to hear your thoughts on this. If you are a businessman, businesswoman, what are your plans? Do you tend to sell as much as you can in the nine months and then try to raise cash? And then when the rainy day happens, you're going to buy up. You know, I told my wife, you know, when the economy is under a lot of pressure, like for her business, I told her, you know, suggested that, hey, build a cash reserve and then buy things on the cheap. Like during COVID, what happened, last point, was a lot of businesses, they were shut down and they needed to sell items at a discount. And there's basically liquidation sales in March and April. You could have gotten a lot of things cheap from these stores. And she did that a little bit. You know, it wasn't only Funko Pop. She sells other things too. But regardless, the thing is, there will be decent opportunities. And I think it will be a time to capitalize on that. And in my opinion, next nine months, if you can raise cash and sell some of your collectibles, I think that strategy will work. But we shall see. Anyways, guys and gals, let me know what you think. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below. Thank you. Bye.